Hi, Caitlin. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm enjoying the sun. So could you tell us a few things about Kiel? I can do if you narrow that down into a few more questions. All right. Uh, what about the uh, Kiel name? Well, the name Kiel is derived from the Anglo-Saxon Kaihul, which is kind of like Cow Hill. And depending on your accent and how you say it, Cow Hill, Kaihul kind of becomes Kiel. So what's, uh, what's behind the Kiel logo, actually? So the top of the logo represents the three local government authorities that help contribute to the funding of the new university college. So the fleur de -lis represents Burton, the Stafford Knot represents Stafford, and the Fret represents Stoke. The side at the bottom of the logo is the Sneed family armorial bearing. So the land was given to the Templar Knights in 1169 by King Henry II, but then the Sneed family bought the estate in 1544 and it remained their property until 1948. In fact, Ralph Sneed actually built the first Kill Hall in 1580. And speaking of... Wow, this looks very really pretty. What is it? Kill Hall and the famed Freshers Gate. What's so special about the Freshers Gate? Well, aside from it being a great photo opportunity in your first and last year, it also lets you decide whether you want the apostrophe or not. So Caitlin, tell us why the apostrophe is so important in the name. Well, it makes it grammatically correct on this side, and it was actually graffitied on by a student in 2013. So, but they didn't remember to do this side. So you can pick and choose which one you want to pose with in your pictures, whether you want to be grammatically correct or not. And actually, there's some other graffiti just around the corner, if you can see it. Wow, there are more graffiti? Yeah, it was done in 1954 by a bunch of students just before the first finals examinations. But seeing as it was done, it was painted on. It was meant to wash away, but it didn't quite. So you can just about make out a good look, lads. Which gives you a little bit of encouragement if you have any exams left, even if it is a bit washed away. <laughs> so Caitlin, where are we right now? We're at the clock house. What's so special about it? Didn't it levitate at one point? There is a cool myth that it did levitate at one point. In 1970, a group of about 300 students, we think, came to the clock house and just through pure psychic power and spiritual unity, attempted to levitate the whole building. And they say they managed to do it by six feet, but maybe they did. So, Caitlin, I see a lot of squirrels on campus. Yeah, you'd think they'd be like the mascot keel or something, wouldn't you? Wait, aren't they? No, and if we go in the library, you can meet Herbert. So, Caitlin, who's Herbert? This is Herbert, the dragon mascot of Kiel. What's so special about him? Herbert was rediscovered in 1951, and he became a mascot for results day celebrations and sporting competitions from about the mid-50s onwards. And he's lived a pretty crazy life, from living in Hawthorns to Lindsay, to being in Kiel Hall, to living in his little dragon's den in the library now where everyone can come and visit. Okay, Caitlin, so does it mean it's the end of our journey here? Yeah, but that's just a few fun facts and myths and legends and things you might not have known about Kiel out of lots and many years of heritage. And you can honestly find out more by just walking around the campus, looking online, even about the Forest of Light, for example, and there's plenty more to discover. 